Prince Charles stumbled and nearly fell to the floor at COP26 in a dramatic opening to the climate change summit. The 72-year-old narrowly avoided a serious fall at the summit in Glasgow as he made his way onto the stage to give a keynote speech to the delegates at COP26, demanding action on climate change. Making his way towards the stage the Prince of Wales walked up a set of steps to the podium. But he appeared to catch his foot and stumbled. Losing his balance for a worrying few moments as the crowd looked on. Luckily Prince Charles managed to regain his balance without falling to the floor and regained his composure. But the incident clearly shook the future monarch as he gathered himself before making his speech. But the incident did not go unnoticed as Twitter responded with concern for the prince's well-being. The Sun's political editor Harry Cole wrote on Twitter worrying moment Prince Charles takes a stumble on the stairs up to the cop platform. He appears to be fine and into his speech. While Joe. Company X political correspondent Ava Santina also said, Oh God, no, Prince Charles. Just fell over on the way up to his speech. Despite the tumble, the Prince of Wales went on to use his speech to warn that the world is on a war footing and urged world leaders to stop arguing and work together in the face of this existential threat. The royal continued, adding, I know you all carry a heavy burden on your shoulders, and you do not need me to tell you the eyes and hopes of the world are upon you. Prince Charles went on to appeal to the finance sector to help slow climate change, arguing. This industry has even more firepower and financial capability than global leaders. He explained, we know this will take trillions. Not billions of dollars, we need a vast military, style campaign to marshal the strength of the financial sector. He warned the sector offers the only real prospect of making a difference to climate change. Nearly 200 countries are being called on to take urgent action on climate change at the summit, but notable absences of China, the world's top contributor of CO2 emissions, and Russia are being branded as setbacks in achieving the aims of the summit. The summit will run from Sunday, October 31 to Friday, November 12.